Hi there YouTube, this is the Raving Monkeys with their first ever live commentary video going. Today we're going to show you how to download Armour 2 add-ons off of the Armourholic website. Um, today we're going to show you the mod folder method. Um, there's currently two methods going, well three if you three, but I'm only, I've only been talking about the two before. Uh, one is the add-ons folder the add-ons folder where you just drag and drop it the files into the add-ons folder um, that can generally cause a lot of errors and it can just clog up the file basically the mod folder which we're gonna do today is prevents the clog up of that and it prevents errors um, so don't worry I will go slow for you today um, so first of all you would want to go onto your internet browser and then you're going to want to type in on your top search bar armaholic.com there we go oh shit it's spelled wrong armaholic.com there we go right you go to downloads and it's armor two files and then if we go to add-ons units and then I'm going to find where it is right here we go I'm gonna download the US Army um, here you'll see like a short description before you click on it um, it tells you which version you need so if it's a higher version you need to um, patch your game on a higher higher version and then the requirements will say here so if you click on it now where it is here it shows you the pictures of the detail on it um, it will give you a description of what the units are sometimes and like what they've done to improve it and stuff like that now at the very bottom around here where my mouse is there's sometimes a issues panel or description bit and that will tell you what's wrong with the units so say if the crosshairs on the gun are like blue instead of black that sort of stuff so down here is your download links it's one of these two both the same if say that one didn't work try that one and vice versa if they both don't work then you fucked Ch try another you try and get another unit so click on that and then save it what you're gonna wanna do you wanna go in your documents and make a folder called downloads and in that folder armor 2 add-ons downloads folder that's another one you need to make and then you can keep on creating folders say of units but I'm just gonna save it in the armor 2 there we go so we'll wait for that to finish downloading and then yeah I'll show you the next part um once that's downloading um if you haven't got 7-zip WinZip or WinRAR, whatever you have, you can get 7-zip for free, the full version. What you need to do is type in at the um, the top bar, if you just look where I'm writing, it's 7-zip dot, dot org. And then there's four types of download links. Um, it's one of these, and then once you've got that, you know you can extract your f your your the files and everything so it's pretty good so now you know that that's all right it's probably the most important thing you need to do add-ons so there we go right so now that's basically finished you're gonna want to open the folder and then you're gonna use your you're going to right click it and use your 7-zip, WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you have to extract the files and then it will come up with this you just press OK and then it will do its own business won't take that long and then um, you uh, click on it and then uh, it's in add-ons 
and then that's a file we're dealing with. We're going to ignore that today because that if you click that, it opens the actual game and installs it via the game, which is um, which is different to last time. Um, so right, it's that file we're going to be dealing with today. Um, so what we're going to do, you're going to want to go to your computer, like computer on the start menu. It's the C drive program files behemoth interactive armor 2 now once you get to this you're going to want to make a file a new file called I'm going to call it at army 09 and then I'm going to double click on that one and then in that folder you're going to make another one a new folder called add-ons like so and then you're going to open that and go back to where you you downloaded that file into your downloads document thingy and then you're going to you're going to copy and then you're going to paste in the uh, army 09 add-ons folder so like so continue right now once you've done that that's what it should look like and inside it should look like that and then that so once you've done that, you're going to want to go to your Launch Armor 2 and right click on it and go down to Properties. And then in there, it's going to look like this at the start. And just just go to the very end and you're going to press Space. And then if you see what I do here now, so that's, hold on, that Space there, that Mod equals at army 09 and then that that's the um that's the mod folder what you've just put in your uh, your C drive and then you're going to click okay and then that's done and that's that's finished and then uh what you do you launch your game up and then it will be under uh, blue 4 and then if you click down on the, s the second little link below that it will come up with um, army 09 and that's that's it okay um, I hope this has helped you guys um, if you uh, if you like it or if you've got any questions if you comment on my uh, on my page my channel or send me a personal message and I'll I'll, I'll gladly like to help Okay, um, please rate, subscribe, like, whatever, and uh, it'll be very much appreciated. Thank you, and stay tuned for more of the Raving Monkeys videos coming soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.